Shiseido Tahiti Pro presented by Outer Known Men's Elimination Round out in the water. Heat number six, Ian Gentile up against Matthew McGillivray. Winner moves on to round of 16. Kaipo along with Peter Mel. Thoughts on this heat, Pete? Well, I got Ian Gentile having uh, his rookie season and has been uh, at the top of the heat. I had great things to say about Matthew McGillivray as you watch the replay here of Gentile quickly in and out and uh, conditions holding with this beautiful sunshine and offshore winds and the conditions are optimum we see again technique by Ian Gentile he has honed these skills and Matthew McGillivray kicking out of his opening ride you know touching on Matthew McGillivray I always have great things to say about him it's been very surprising uh, in his career yeah I, I did 49 hours door to door from when I left my hotel till I got to Armana's hotel. And um, <laughs> and then I had a heat about six hours later. You got his recovery for the 49 hours. Yeah, he's on flight we, time. We've had, three, <laughs> we've had three late days up until today. Here we go. Miguel Avray. Just some white water on the face to deal uh -oh. with. And no uh -oh. barrel, he's going to go over. Oh. Ooh. oh, you saw that one coming. Yeah. yeah, late to the pull out there, but popped up straight away. No chip in here. Matthew. Bounces off the takeoff, and the foam gets under the fins, and he goes down, channels some of the great energy he had here last year. Ian Gentile finds the puka. Uh-oh, they're going to be tangled up, maybe. And both surfers are going to be in the impact zone. Ian gets a ninth here. Uh, Rio would need to win the event to be rookie of the year. All right, and uh, if he loses this heat, which is 17th, right? Uh, Rio would have to, I mean, if he makes, and both just froth, want to surf every single moment they possibly can. The Gillivray caught on the heels there. And after that paddle back out, handed priority over to Ian Gentile. It's really hard to find a good one. Right now we got, oh, look at this one. Here we go. He's pulling it up. This thing goes gaping through that inside section. Wow. What a barrel that looked like from the corner here. There we go. First number of, of matter for this heat right there. And finally finding something you come out of. You kind of have to go with the momentum of the wave and turn your body towards the beach. Uh, and some of those waves they were trying to push through off the end and kind of going over the handlebars. Yeah, we're watching some replays of Ian Gentile that were waiting for the number here. But, you know, just to point out a 10 point ride out here. Oh, how's that late drop? And one of the best tens of the year. So, I mean, so you're I, counterpointing the. I'm not the, even counterpointing. <laughs> I just need to point out that Matthew McGillivray got the, the best 10 of 2022, in my opinion. Matthew McGillivray needs a 6.5. Here we go with the South African. A little stall chop off the bottom section in front of him, and he gets axed on the head. Ouch. Not tight enough to the wall there. And I think there's a prime example where he's going to keep priority because he never actually paddled for the wave. He put himself in position and then ducked out at the last second. Matthew sits through that section and will continue to search for a 6.5. Unfortunately, as you now see, up and riding. Ian Gentile activating there, kicks out, wants to make quick work of it and get back into the takeoff zone. And it looks like he will should be able to do that easily to regain priority. While wow, Strider, that set just rolled through. Neither competitor's in the way, but wait a minute, we may have a surfer here with Ian Gentile utilizing priority. Priority error there for Ian Gentile Strider. So, it's positive signs as we see McGillivray trying to put something together himself, but positive signs that we saw that set approach and had a big, beautiful, long, uh, longer interval. Uh, thank you for the reporting. Strider Wazalewski getting some uh, intel from Kelly Slater. And you talk about the shorter interval, the 2014 event, as we see up and riding Matt. But that 2014 event, had like 14 second interval and it was like double digits you know 10 at 14. all right well we'll see an ian gentile in the round of 16. matthew mcgillivray eliminated from competition coming up connor o'leary seth moniz